Hello everyone, this is your 5 and welcome to the Robert Mass Actual Toy Review. And today so we're looking at the 2010 release of my Hasbro of the Iron Man 2 Action Figure Reviews. And today's Action Figures Review will be looking at the Proving Ground Concept Series 3 pack that consists of the Iron Man Mark 6 Holographic Armor, the Iron Man Hawkbuster Armor, and the Recon War Machine Armor. Now, I actually got in this in a Parks and Toy Department store for 81 ringgit because they have a 10% discount. Retail price is 89 ringgit and 90 cents. I was quite surprised to actually see this tree pack being sold in a box and toy department store rather than in a toy us toy department store. So I was quite lucky enough to actually bump into this accidentally and immediately purchase this because I really like the recon war machine and also the holographic armor. Now the front part of packaging, you'll notice all three of the figures has been displayed everything has been displayed in the front hopefully there will be a base stand inside with the armor cuts as well now let's take a look at the back of the packaging on the side you notice there's the artwork of Iron Man armor there and on the other side is just Iron Man 2 and on the back here you get to see all three of the figures there the holographic armor, Hawkbuster and the recon war machine all displayed there now on the side here you get to see all those rope they toys for kids like the helmet arc reactor light and the 21 repulsor glove there and also Iron Man Mark 6 red vortex vehicle very nicely done so this is a part one video review we'll be focusing to review on the recon war machine and subsequent videos we will continue on the rest of the figures review so without further ado let's open up this packaging and review on the recon war machine and molest him be right back and we're back after removing the figure out from packaging now i was quite surprised to discover that in the proving ground tree pack it doesn't come with the armor cards for all three of the figures or even the base stats at all i don't mind losing the armor cards but why remove the base stands is just beyond me now let's take a look at the figures well so called accessory it comes with a separate piece which is a mini gun belt feet here which you have to connect at the back part of the figures back here to the side part of the mini gun itself from here now the problem is the parts itself is not deep enough so the pegs is a bit long and when you plug it in it doesn't seem to go all the way in so when you try to post around with the minigun it will tend to well, loosen up quite easily and pop off from the pots itself now let's take a look at the figure's paint job now the paint job is absolutely gorgeous I love the jungle camo team here it's absolutely very nice but it's not perfect of course we'll take a look at the smaller little details here the eyes are well painted there's a small hint of red at the edges of the eyes itself not too much red but enough to let you see there is a bit of red going on there so does the art reactor in the middle as well the, all the edges there there's a line of red there now what's printed on you know the serial numbers and everything on the, the shoulders and on the side you'll notice it's stated as 002 here as well 002 now funny thing is the first war machine arm um, stated as 001 this is a 002 model very nicely done warning labels on the side at the tip of the weapon itself is also displayed as well you've got some silver paint job on the face plate the shoulders the upper bicep the ties and, and it's actually not bad even on the side of the ribs but the silver paint job is also one of the few problems there some of the silver paint jobs a little bit of them bled onto the camo itself even to this point here as well there's a spot there the kneecap is also covered with the spots of the silver paint job you notice that and for the silver paint job onto the joint itself the this joint also chipped off in the in the inside portion there also on the other side it's just chipped off that's a bit pity but it's not that bad the entire figure's paint job is absolutely very gorgeous even the missiles the mini missiles that is also painted in silver very nice i really wish they actually do paint the 
minigun but well this entire figure is good enough now for the scope of the figure nothing has changed compared to the movie version of war machine nothing has changed except for the minigun itself because for the first war machine the movie war machine it was single color version the minigun is actually a missile launcher and uh, it's a bit larger for the recoil war machine this minigun is a bit smaller and it's up to at least for a four inch scale size that is actually accurate to the movie itself so this is very nice the entire figure scope is absolutely gorgeous i never actually owned the first war machine the movie war machine figure because i didn't like the missile launcher so i'm glad i actually picked this up the details are very nice for a four inch war machine a movie war machine this is very detailed stuff weapons on the side down it's also very nicely molded and sculpted so that's on the other side as well the other weapon system the missile pack on the shoulders the mini gun is also nicely done face so the entire head sculpt is also very detailed so all the armor plating is also very very nice it's like a smaller version of the six inch war machine figure very nice of all the arm plating there even at the back you get to see a little bit of spine going on very nice and the lower legs there the back of the lower legs you got the boosters the jet boosters at the back portion here very nicely done bottom part of the feet as well is also molded and sculpted very nicely done very detailed stuff now let's take a look at the figure's articulation now the shoulder pad here can actually go up and down to height and the missiles can actually turn 360 degrees i can see that this thing just pops off i'm just going to remove it so it won't hinder so much now the minigun can actually turn 360 degrees and height at the back like so or like that so now the head joint is a bit disappointing because it's very limited can only go left and right and that's about it it doesn't even pivot up and down at all torso joint actually is actually not bad it can turn 360 degrees and move a little bit forward and back a little bit and side to side now the shoulder joints is a bit hindered by the shoulder pads but the shoulder pads is also articulated as you can see it can go up and down but the shoulders is hindered so this is as far as it can move the arms to the back and raise the arms this far elbow joint here bend this far and turn 360 degrees now the wrist joint on one side can turn 360 degrees with no problem however the other side of the hand itself because it's sculpted with an open hand for you to pose with the when the war machine is firing the repulsive blast so it can only go left and right you can turn well sort of 180 degrees but after that that's all you can do because the thumb is sticking out and it's well hindered the swivel joint there now you've got a ball joint for the hip joints here and the pegs are all aligned in this manner so you have to twist the ball joint in one area so in order for you to move the legs forward you have to twist the swivel tie first so once it's aligned you can move the leg forward or go to the side like so now, however the other side of the joint itself is a bit tight earlier on when i tried to loosen it it became very loose you've got a double joint in the knee that bend this far and an ankle joint that pivot downwards upwards and if you want turn 360 degrees overall this war machine is absolutely very gorgeous nicely sculpted and for the paint job i really like the camel paint job but the silver paint job is a bit disappointing because there's some bleeding there there's some spots there but what can you do as Iron Man 2 figures it will bound to have some pain mishaps anyway and so far I haven't seen too much pain problems with war machine here this is absolutely well done not perfect but well done very well, nicely done and the articulation is well for the hip joint is a bit loose due to the war joint earlier on when you twist it and uh, some of the paint chipped off and uh, it became a bit loose but it's still alright 
articulation is not bad but except for the neck joint the neck joint is kind of limited so if i'm gonna give a rating on this i would say i'll give it a 9 out of 10 because it's absolutely very gorgeous figure and if it weren't in the three pack i would buy a whole bunch of them just to to build the recon war machine it's absolutely very gorgeous so 9 out of 10 for the recon war machines i thank you all for watching this is lucy05 and i'm signing off